Hey, this is Keeping It Real with your host, Justin Villo Real. And today we're talking about three moves that will guarantee that the Jacksonville Jaguars become the next dynasty in the NFL. Now it starts off with drafting Trevor Lawrence first overall. We all know he's going first overall. There have been some talks that maybe the Jaguars go with Justin Fields at number one overall. And honestly, if the Jacksonville Jaguars do not select Trevor Lawrence, their general manager and ownership should be arrested under abuse of power. I mean, it is so obvious that Trevor Lawrence is the guy you take number one overall. He is the best college prospect in all of college sports ever. He is the guy you take first overall. Now, you have a second first round pick, and I would go with his friend Travis Etienne running back out of Clemson. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking the Jaguars already have James Robinson at running back. Why would they go with a running back with their second first round pick if they already have a really good running back? Well, number one, a lot of successful teams have multiple running backs. You have multiple guys that could run the ball. Also, Travis Etienne going to be great in the special teams as a punt returner, as a kick returner, and a guy that is going to be able to make more juke moves get out in space, and James Robinson is going to be your more traditional running back. So you kind of have a little bit of a combination of quickness and then more traditional style of being a running back, and that's always good for any team. Look at what the Bears are doing with Tariq Cohen and David Montgomery, something like that. Alvin Kamara and Mark Ingram back a few years ago, that's what the Saints did. So you could kind of do that here with Travis Cetien and James Robinson, and really make a great running back duo for your young quarterback because running the ball is going to help protect him a lot more because he's not getting hit when Etienne or Robinson is running the ball. Now, in the second round, with either 34th or 33rd pick, depending on what happens um, tomorrow, we'll know if the Jaguars get the 34th or 33rd pick. Well, with that pick, I would go Amari Rodgers, um, wide receiver out of Clemson. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking they need offensive linemen. With the offensive line, I'd rather, if I was the Jaguars, spend money in free agency for guys that I know are going to be good at the offensive line rather than take a chance on somebody because they pick after the first pick. They have their next pick in the early to mid-20s. So it's like they're not going to get the top offense line prospects so might as well go out and because they have the most cap space of any NFL team go out and just get the best offense linemen that are already in the NFL so you don't have to worry about it in the draft now the reason why I go Amari Rodgers is two reasons number one once again someone that Trevor Lawrence is used to somebody that's going to make him feel more comfortable because he's known ETN and Rodgers for the past three years, he's, these are guys he's familiar with. These are guys that are going to make him feel more at home in Jacksonville. These are guys that, like, every quarterback has their guys that they prefer to throw the ball to. Look at, like, Trubisky and Allen Robinson, Drew Brees, Michael Thomas, Tom Brady, Julian Edelman. You want to get those guys that your quarterback is comfortable playing with, comfortable throwing the ball to. And that's why Rodgers and Etienne are good picks. Not only that, but you look at what the Chiefs have going on. You look at the Kansas City Chiefs. They have a lot of offense weapons for Patrick Mahomes, their quarterback. Well, Trevor Lawrence is more talented than Patrick Mahomes. So do what you're do what the Chiefs are doing with Patrick Mahomes. Surround him with weapons. Amari Rodgers, Travis Etienne, these are guys that have speed that can make plays in space, that have great juke move abilities. And so Amar Rodgers can be the next Tyree Kill. Travis Etienne can be the next guy like a Tyree Kill, like a Nicole Hardman, like these guys that, you look at the Chiefs, they have guys that can make juke moves in space. They have a bunch of those on their team, Sammy Watkins, all those guys. So make it like that 
in Jacksonville because you already have DJ Shark, you already have D.D. Westbrook, you add Amari Rodgers as your slot wide receiver and Travis Etienne and then James Robinson. That's five offensive weapons for your young quarterback to throw the ball to, to get the ball to. And then now you're kind of like a younger version of the Kansas City Chiefs. And if you spend your money in the offensive line, you don't have to worry about it in the draft because you're going to fix it in free agency. Now, the one move that I really think the Jaguars should make is signing quarterback Josh McCown. Now, don't get me wrong. Trevor Lawrence is a day one starter, but every quarterback needs a mentor. Every quarterback needs someone to learn from. And Josh McCown is the perfect guy for the job. Number one, he's been around in the NFL for a long time. He's been on multiple teams. He's been on many, many teams. And he's going to have a lot of experience to share with Trevor Lawrence. There's a lot that he can teach Trevor Lawrence. Not only that, and this is going to sound silly, but hear me out. Both Trevor Lawrence and Josh McCown are super religious. That's something they could bond over. And it's always good to have something to bond over other than just playing football. It's something to have. It's good to have something that you could bond over with a teammate of yours other than just the fact that you guys play the same sport. And that's what McCown and Lawrence have. And that's why I think he'd make the perfect mentor. Number one, been around in the NFL a long time. Number two, they have something they could relate over, bond over, have something in common outside of football. Those are two things you look for in a mentor quarterback, in someone that's going to mentor your young quarterback. I think him and Trevor Lawrence would go along really well. McCown being the backup, Lawrence being the starter. I think that'd work out really well for Jacksonville. And if you added ETN and Rodgers to the offense weapons you already have, now you're a very, very scary offense. And you probably can beat the Kansas City Chiefs in the next two to three years if you make those moves. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more sports content.